குறைந்த விலை நிறைந்த தரம் தங்கள் தேவைகள் அனைத்தும் ஒரே இடத்தில் ஜெயச்சந்திரன் டெக்ஸ்டைல்ஸ் and to all those around us unfailingly we are the ones who teach courage the ones who teach love it is us who understand forgiveness and us who know how to fight fearlessly in the face of adversity we are the workforce powering our nation forward and we are the millions of young women aspiring towards a better future we know how to rise from the dark darkest night to claim a new dawn we have a light within each one of us that is capable of shining brighter than the sun but that light has never been allowed the freedom and joy to shine in its fullness it was almost 100 years ago that tandai periyar asked penien adimai anal why were women enslaved Then he answered this question in a series of revolutionary essays in which he wrote about the economic and social enslavement of women. It was he who laid the foundation for the empowerment of women in Tamil Nadu which Thiru Annadurai and Thiru Karunanidhi carried forward. My sisters, this empowered you, the women of Tamil Nadu, to show the way of emancipation and progress to the rest of india yet across our nation beneath the surface of progress we are still struggling with the harsh reality of an entrenched patriarchy that ensures the systemic oppression of women in fact almost a century after tandai periyar's essays were published that same question looms large before us penien adimayai irekiral why are women still enslaved and although i do not have the stature nor the experience and the wisdom of tandai periyar my answer is this i am a woman we have been taught generation after generation after generation to cede our power to others we have been taught to talk softly we have been taught to step aside to be every to be ashamed of honoring our essence to take care of everyone else before we show compassion towards ourselves and unfortunately my sisters we have learned these lessons only too well so well that we have continued to pass them down we have learned to define ourselves through the eyes of the hierarchy that was instilled in us and by doing so we have allowed and enabled our own oppression we ourselves have forgotten that the root of discrimination of any kind whether it is based on color creed caste or gender is an inability to honor the truth that equality and personal dignity are neither a privilege nor a gift but a natural endowment of life today there is much talk about empowerment as every political party begins to realize that women can become a formidable collective force that shapes our nation's future but they still still look towards us with greed greed for votes and the greed to capture our power and use it to keep us down on your behalf today my sisters i demand more i demand that we own our power on your behalf I demand the immediate implementation of the women's reservation bill. We, the women of India, have no more time to waste. It is our right to be counted in the political process. I demand that our worth is valued and respected as a political instrument for our own empowerment. I demand that we put an end to the glorification of our tolerance for injustices. which are committed against us day after day after day i demand the rejection of any system societal religious or political which thrives on our oppression and forces us to collude with it every woman holds the right to express and embody her own power and she should be free to exercise it you are the essence of humanity each one of you standing exactly where you are today 
have the power to change your lives, but only if you deeply understand the unbridled potential of your sisterhood. Only if you see in each other the great value of coming together, of helping and holding each other, and rising in solidarity with one another. My sisters, nothing can hold back the power of women when we stand as one. We are half the population of this country, half, no less. It is for us to set the barriers of caste, religion, state, language, and society aside. It is for us to recognize ourselves first and foremost as sisters who can unify into an unstoppable momentum for change. Today, as we stand here to commemorate Tiru Karuna Nidhiji, a leader who understood the power of women, let us awaken to a new dawn. Let us create our own destiny. Thank you. Jai Hind. பெண் ஏன் அடிமையானாள் என்று கேள்வி எழுப்பிய தந்தை பெரியாரின் கேள்வி இன்னும் தொடரத்தான் செய்கிறது என்று கூறியிருக்கிறார் பிரியங்கா காந்தி அதே போல பெண்கள் தனித்துவமான ஆற்றலை கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் ஒவ்வொரு பெண்ணும் தனி ஆற்றலை பெற்றிருக்கிறார் பெண்களினுடைய ஆற்றலை அரசியல் கட்சிகள் உணரத் தொடங்கிய தருணம் இது என்றும் அவர் உரையாற்றியிருக்கிறார் குறைந்த விலை நிறைந்த தரம் தங்கள் தேவைகள் அனைத்தும் ஒரே இடத்தில் ஜெயச்சந்திரன் டெக்ஸ்டைல்ஸ்